Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, through the gates of the world open to Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jeebel, the boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. A girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber lit to her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johanna set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brothers subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Alright. That was a long introductory sequence. I totally forgot. So, uh, here I am... Playing Bloodstained. If you haven't heard of this game, it is made by Iga, the man who went ahead and made, like, 
most, if not all, of the Castlevania games for Konami. He left Konami because there were some issues, which seems to be happening a lot with their company lately. Or I say lately, it's been like a couple of years. Um, and he crowdfunded this entire game. Well, not the entirety of it. I mean, he he got a lot of corporate backers and stuff, but he crowdfunded it. Um, and I actually had. You're prepared. The next order of business is to. I'm gonna go ahead and let him be paused there for a second. Let me finish my own goddamn thought. Uh, I actually had the privilege of going ahead and donating a hundred dollars to it, and that's how I own this game. I've played it all the way through before, but I figured now that I'm trying to do YouTube stuff, I can go ahead and play it for you guys, with you guys, whatever. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. I'll take care of it. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. All right. So it's been a little while since I played the game. You're gonna have to forgive me. Um, a lot of the gameplay aspects about it are. Go tap, go tap, hold it. Um. So a lot of the gameplay aspects are based off of one of the Castlevania games. I'm trying to remember which one it was. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Yeah. Magic. Step, step. Uh, I mean, it's based off of like all the Castlevania. Uh, power. It's based off of like all the Castlevania games, but um, the the big thing about it is that you can go ahead and just kill minions and gain their powers. There's no guarantee of when you'll get them. Oh, also you level up. I forgot about that. I don't remember if you... Le I think you leveled up in that one. Um... Did not make it. Now, I mean, because it is a Metroidvania style game, it there's a lot of like back and forth, you know, you see a portion of the level. Oh shit. <laughs> Kill. Uh so that's a good good quick right now. Yep. But, in addition to Castlevania... Yeah. 
for more studies. I don't need all that crap. And you can heal over here. As you can see right there, I've, I've played the game a couple of times before. Keeping it separate, doing it completely from the start. You can New Game Plus the game, so that's always a fun thing to me. Uh, let me go over here all the way first. <sighs> Love it. Love it. Stab, stab. I mean, you know, you got breaking lamps and getting stuff. Money in this case. Slide on down. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. Like, there's so much to explore. You don't need to go to every single room and everything ever, but you miss stuff if you don't. Oh god. <laughs> That's always painful. Uh, directional shard. Aim and then press. Okay. Yeah. That's fun. Yep. Oh my god. Um, it has references to other stuff too, and I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything referenced in the game ever. Shit. Oh, wait, hold on. MP Max up, yeah. There's a lot of, like, hidden breakable walls. There's some passive abilities that will tell you where things are at. Um, so this isn't going to be so much a game of discovery. I'm not good enough to remember where everything in Middle is, so I'm not going to also try to pass this off as if it's some sort of tutorial. Oh, shoot. I did not want to skip. In due time, I'll be able to destroy all of these. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really fun game. I mean, almost everything that I play, I want to assume is fun, at least to me. Well, I mean, it's definitely fun, at least to me. Can I get this? Get, get away! Um, so one of the things that's fun about the game is, okay. you know, like, again, like the other thing, the one Castlevania game, you get powers by defeating the minions and they increase. So I've got grade three flayed camera, cannon, cannon at this point, god damn. Um, you know, so the more that you do that, the more that you empower them. Uh, and then there's another method of boosting them, which kind of comes from the stuff that you take from the enemies. Ooh, short sword. Uh, gonna switch off. Ah, took your head clean off. Alright. Um, oh, I found the map, so... I kind of know where I'm going. always love these little save areas, because you can... Well, one, save, obviously, but... They, they heal everything, which is just what you need sometimes. Sugar. Ooh. There's another fun aspect of this game that I don't know if it's been in anything else, but... Like, like, there's so much equipment to... Okay, let's go. 
and like the stuff that you equip actually does change your appearance, which is fun, especially when you get to some of the cooler uh, referential stuff. And I'll get uh, dead. Ouch. Ooh. Oh god. Oh, that's always so painful. I can't, yeah, I can't get up there until I get, like, one of the power-ups down the line. be doing unnecessary sound effects because I'm trying to fill in the void of me not having anybody to talk to. See, I did not distinctly rem Some of the walls, if you look at them, uh, you can kind of see that there's something. Ooh. I mean, get more out of the get more out of that ring. Ooh, play more. <laughs> I'm not doing very good at keeping focused. Oof. I don't know, I might want to take that ring off. That's... That takes so much more away from. Yeah. I think I'll stick without that frame for the time being. Yeah, you're gonna see me going back and forth with this stuff. I've seen... I think I've seen the Game Grumps play, like... Before he released the game, he did a more, like, typical pixelated style... Uh, Castlevania game focused on one of the other characters that's in the series. Uh, I'll, I'll point him out when you introduce to him later, but... I guess I could probably heal up. Um... No, I don't need to. Uh... I think you get a chance before you end up... And there's no guarantee I'll be good enough to face the first boss on the first go, but... Let's see here. Uh, we'll switch out my shards. Yeah. All right. Um. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Game Grumps have played. Ooh, shit. That hit way harder than I thought it was going to. so I can jump up. Okay, here's my favorite weapon. I love using the whip. <laughs> it looks so silly on her, but it's so... It's a really effective piece of equipment, so... Ouch. 
I think they intentionally made the whip like one of the best weapons you can get in this game just because of the fact that, you know, if you if you know anything about Castlevania, and I'm by far not the most typical person who knows anything about it, but you know that the whip is like the big weapon. It is the thing that everyone... Shoot, I was actually up there. Wait for it to... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Don't slide. going to save here because we're going to face the first boss. And I'm sure if other people who played the game watched it, I'll probably fail my first try here. So, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Jeepa, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. She looks like a crazy-ass football player with that helmet on. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. The alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken, convinced I was a monster, and you told me... This is nonsense! You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebo, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Grim. We're leaving.
do I have any I have potions? If you get strong enough in this game, uh... Okay. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Beat it on the first try. Beat it on the first try. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh god, it hurts every time. It's rushing tentacle. I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. And that was the first boss. So that was... Bloodstained. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that that's where that ended. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and thank you for watching. We're here. No, you can wait. Uh, end of the episode, that was a pretty good place to stop, so. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and play more, show more, and uh, I, I'm hoping that this is a good one. I was concerned that it wasn't going to be... You know what, let me talk next time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and remember to get infected with fun. See ya.